Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and today I'm here with Chet Kanoja, who is the CEO and founder of Aereo. Hey Chet, what's up? I'm good, welcome. We're not normally on a roof in Boston, but today we are, why? There's been all this talk about the antenna farms Aereo sets up, so we figured we'd show you what one actually looks like from the outside. Let's start with this guy though. This is the little baby that started it all. This is a single antenna that's capable of uh, receiving a high definition TV signal, uh, but six megahertz at a time. So which is the smallest frequency block that um, uh, you want to pick up for right. television. And what we do is we use uh, hundreds of thousands of these to give to hundreds of thousands of people and then they can pick up free to wear television uh, remotely using any device, uh, laptop, iPad, right. things like that. So when I sign up for Aereo, this is what I'm renting? You, exactly. You, saw, you rent one remotely and then you control it remotely. And that's sort of the clever part about it is that you just use it as you were at home, except it's located somewhere else. Right. This time it's located here. We're in Somerville, Massachusetts, which is close to Boston. And this is actually the setup, right? This is our next generation shelter, as we call it. Its internal code name is RAS12. All the equipment inside can pick up the TV signals without having interference or blockage because it's transparent material. And it, you know we have to do things like lightning protection and all kinds of silliness uh, since you're out on the roof. It gets super hot, so it's got uh, air conditioning. It gets super cold, so it's all insulated. Um, so yeah, it's, it's so how much does it, I mean, can I ask, what goes into putting something like this on the roof? Do you bring it up through the building or do you crane it on? I mean, this is a uh, big setup. Well, we crane everything from the outside. And the re this is why actually in New York, when we first started, we didn't do rooftop installations. We did an indoor one. So we go into a market and we put in five or 10,000 customers worth of capacity, depending on the size of the market. And as we keep selling that out, at some point it becomes economical to roll in the big box so we can scale up to 100,000 customers. And then. What we can do is put multiples of these big boxes either in one location or different locations throughout the city. But typically the plan is that we put one of these and then we have more real estate around it pre-lease so we can put more boxes in. Can we go inside and sure, check it yeah, out? Yeah, we can okay, check it out. Good. Okay, so we finally made it up to the top of this platform. It was a, it was a difficult journey. I, we're now joined by the CTO of Aereo, it's Joe Lepowski. Hi, Joe, how are you doing? Did you good. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the inside of this. These are our antenna cubes, which serve all of our customers in Boston area. And each board carries 160 antennas. And each line card puts out gigabit ethernet, which is carrying the video for all of those antennas coming out. They go into general switches. And out of the switches is a combined uh, multiple 10 gig uh, gigabit link that comes out. And all of that fiber is re-aggregated in this part of the shelter and is then brought in to our data center downstairs where the next two phases of the technology come in, which is uh, transcoding to convert from MPEG-2 to MPEG-4 to 64, and then the DVR system, which is the storage and playback system. When I'm an Aereo user, I sign up, I'm paying my $8 a month, what is happening? Well, hopefully you're paying 12, but. <laughs> <laughs> sure, 12, whatever, whatever you want. So the, actually in, in the Boston market, the main transmission locations are out there. They're sort of like skinny towers out in the distance, you can't see them, which is why the shelter faces that side. Before you log in, they're actually sitting tuned to a dead frequency. Okay. And when you log in, you get assigned one, still listen, sitting to a dead frequency. And then you say, I want to watch NBC or record some show on CBS or whatever that happens to be. That's when, the application from your iPad or smart TV or whatever sends an instruction to this antenna. And this antenna's behavior changes. A, the tuner attached to it tunes to a particular frequency, and B, its electrical characteristics are modified so it'll listen efficiently on that particular six megahertz part. So the, the cool part about it is it operates totally under your control uh, without actually uh, you being present or, or uh, physically controlling it. Each individual stream is maintained individual throughout the whole process. and. Uh, um, you know, to be able to do that at such a low cost point is like phenomenal. All right, guys, that's it for Aereo's rooftop antenna data awesomeness. What am I supposed to call it? We call it the antenna farm. The antenna farm. That's it for Aereo's rooftop antenna farm. I'm Jordan Crook. This is Chet Knoja. Thank you for watching.